Lucas in second and Corey Luciano in third. Only four tenths of a second would separate the top three. So how did the race go overall, walk us from beginning to end? How was your start? Well, yesterday in practice it was a little challenging. We were a little off the pace, but the first cart came around and we ended up winning. Anybody pushing you most of the race or who in particular was giving you a good run? Keelan Harris, is a, he, he ran strong all day. He was my main competition. William Keatings continued his string of wins in the World Formula Junior, taking first over Brampton's Anthony Gibson, with Lindsey Brown from Thoreau finishing third. And how'd the race go for you? Anybody pushing you? Yeah, I had uh, Kevin pushing me all the way until his uh, nut broke and his wheel came off. I didn't see anyone really get by you, did they? Not really. So uh, what would uh, made you so strong? There was a combination of setup or just track prep? Or? Well, setup. Uh, knowing the track and confidence in myself. In the Canada Junior Heavy Race, Stovio's Pierce Herder won to remain undefeated in this class. Michael Glaze finished second with Curtis Fox rounding out the podium. In the Rotax Max Junior, Maxim Pelletier from Longy, Quebec took the win after starting in sixth place. Second on the track was number five Pierce Herter, but he was penalized five seconds for contact during the race. That bumped him back to seventh place and gave second place to Eric Barrett. Third went to Markham's Evan Hayden. In the last junior final of the day, Markham's Daniel Murad, number 70, dominated the field in Formula Junior. He swept the event, taking the pole, win the pre-final and the final with the fastest lap time of 42.966 seconds. Number six, Richard Volk was second with Curtis Fox, number 10, in third. Not really anyone pushed it too much during that race. No, well, I was trying to push myself because I was getting a bit bored. What do you think, uh, why you had an advantage? Is it set up? Is it just time on the track? Well, I think overall experience because I've been racing this class for two years now and we just had the cart dialed in and we had a good motor, so overall performance that won. We let Daniel interview Curtis after his win. Here we have Curtis Fox racing the number 10 cart in Formula Junior. How does it feel to make a squiddy move like that at the end of the straightaway? Squiddy. What's a squiddy move? I brake too early. Is that it? And I blocked and went to the outside. Okay, that, that's a squid move right there for you. Is there anyone you want to thank? Daniel Morad for being so supportive. Now there's a great example as to why these guys should stick to the track and leave the interviews to our crew. Next up, it's the heavyweight division, where the big dogs run the course. Canada's cleaning sensation, it's a winner. A thousand uses in one convenient solution. Winning colors. Discover what winning colors can do for you. You win, things lose. Winning colors. Find winning colors at these leading retailers. drill to drive screws should be quick, but not when you're fumbling with bits and fooling with the chuck. You need the new Benchmark Dual Driver from Home Hardware. It holds six driver bits right at the chuck. Just turn, pick the right bit, and snap it into the magnetic holder. You can drive with precision and no wobble. Or snap the dual driver into the durable handle for manual driving. The fully guaranteed Benchmark Dual Driver. A great value, just $14.97. Only from Home Hardware and Home Building Center. For the second year in a row, the Sunoco Ron Fellows Karting Championship was run on the street course in Barrie, Ontario. This series is sanctioned by ASN Canada, and Paul Cook from ASN explains just who they are. ASN Canada is the sanctioning body for motorsport in Canada. 
which uh, approves and sanctions uh, all major sport uh, motorsport events, including the Formula One Grand Prix, the Molson Indies, and other major motorsport events in Canada. The beauty of bringing a kart race to the streets, it helps raise the profile of kart racing. Most certainly, the profile of karting has risen since we got Sunoco and uh, Canada's uh, best well-known race driver locally, Ron Fellows involved. It's just made a world of difference for our carters. In the World Formula Senior Final, North York's Chris Martin was the first to cross the finish line, but he was disqualified in tech, giving the win to Corey Usher. Second place went to Adriana Bellotta and third to Lloyd Shearer. In the Rotax Max Senior Race, Barry had the largest entry field ever for a Sunoco Ron Fellows Karting Championship. 78 drivers were all vying for that checkered flag. Marco DeLeo fouled a plug on the original start, but a red flag gave him another chance, which he made good on for the win. Second place went to Matt Champagne with Robert Wickens in third. I guess the restart kind of affected you. They didn't really give you enough time to get back on the grid in the first start. Well, what happened is off the grid, you know, we fouled the plug and we did put a new plug in within the 90 second rule, but they had already thrown the green. Just luck of the draw that there was a restart, and, you know, I was able to get my position back and it worked out in the end. Now, walk us through your race. You were strong pretty much from the beginning. Well, yeah, at the start, I had a pretty bad start. You know, I, I wasn't ready for the start. Uh, I fell back to third. And, you know, every lap, my cart just got better and better. And the gold cart really worked great. What's it like racing the Barry Grand Prix? How do you like the uh, road course? I mean, it's, it's great with all the fans here. You know, it really gets in adrenaline pumping. I think it was like eighth or something off the start and then uh, and then just progressively moved up. I mean, we got in a huge tangle there with uh, maybe three or four laps to go and it just spread us out completely. I mean, it benefited me, that, that's for sure, but uh, I think I really had a chance to win. I mean, e even after uh, we spread out, uh, I was catching Mark with maybe half a second a lap. So uh, I, I guess we just ran out of laps or uh, just that little misfortune in the, in the hairpin back there spread us out. In the Canada Senior Heavy Race, David Patrick took the win. Dale Boonham was second, and Aaron DeHoos was third. The big race of the weekend was the Formula Senior Final. A huge field of 31 drivers were chasing the checkered flag. The top 15 drivers were all within one second of the pole. In fact, the top three qualifiers were all within five hundredths of a second of each other. Talk about cutting it close. Tyler Javog, one of the top three qualifiers, lost his nose cone in the race, forcing him to retire. The race was now a two-way battle between number 90 Michael Roth and number 88 Kale Mead. Roth held on for the win, but not by much. Less than half a second separated him from Kale Mead. Mead finished second, followed by Matt Champagne in third. Fastest lap time would go to Ward Imry, who made his way from the back of the pack through the field to finish sixth. So Michael, uh, not the easiest of races. Tell us how it went. So, <laughs> no, it wasn't easy at all. The first couple laps, the, the track is really slick now because the sun's going down, and the carburation changed a little bit. It's, the carburation on these are very, very particular. So if you're off a little bit, it hurts, it hurts a lot. And the track was slippery. So first couple laps, I just tried to hold them off, and then my car was good in the middle, and then it just fell off a little bit at the end. But we were able to hold on. What's it like running the road course here at the Barry Grand Prix? It's awesome. It's my favorite track of the year. Oh yeah, why is that? Because there's. Uh, Right down to first gear, tons of braking zones, so that's easy to pass. Well, that's it. We've had it all. Exciting racing, some kicking cars, and lots of fun for the whole family. The Winning Colors Grand Prix of Barrie. What a rush! See you next year when the sixth anniversary of this exciting karting championship returns to Barrie, Ontario. Bye for now from the Winning Colors Grand Prix. The Berry Grand Prix is sponsored by Winning Colors, an environmentally friendly multi-cleaner. And by Canopies, a solid Canadian-built pop-up shelter. And Yamaha Motor Canada, advancing four-stroke engine technology.